Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Wanted to show you guys an unboxing and a setup of this mirror dash camera. 10 inch display, Pelsey, goes right over your mirror if you have one. You should always have one, I think. Even though there's no back windows or doors in my vehicle, but let's set this thing up and let's check out what it looks like. Got my trusty knife, so we'll all of us will see exactly what's in here at the same time. It's nice to have a dash cam if anything happens and you know 100% it's not your fault. Good to refer to this. If you know 100% it's your fault, well, I don't know. Some people throw that footage away, but hurry up and eat that. <laughs> you know how if somebody catches you with something, then you, some some people in the movies they eat the piece of paper with the with the information on it. Well, yeah, <laughs> better eat that. SD card if it's got something that's your fault on there. No, I'm kidding. Don't do that. Okay, here's what's in the box. I'm opening it up. A bunch of wiring. And then here is the actual the satisfying moment. Bam. This looks fancy. Oh, yeah, it does. It'll go like this. Look at that. And you'll see palm trees. I'm in California right now. You guys see that? That looks fancy. We've got all kinds of uh, AVN, GPS. You could even plug in your GPS. It's got a lot of slots. And it doesn't look like it's got a... It doesn't have an SD card in here. But it should come with one. It should be in the box. It says it's in the box. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You get an SD card right there. Power cord. A GPS. So it tells you your location or what? We'll see what this does. This is cool. This is cooler than I thought. What does the GPS do? It comes with some instructions. Maybe I should read those first. I usually don't. I usually read them in the end, but you get you get a little GPS thing that would actually plug in to the camera itself. Then you could mount it, you know, on the windshield somewhere. Up on top. And have this hidden, hopefully. Out of the way. Like that. Also comes with a rear view camera setup, which we're not going to do that. I already have a rear view one, but it will record a rear view if you do set this up. So if you want to record it with somebody rear-ending you or something else happening, it does come with one right here. Probably put it on somewhere where the license plate is and tap in. Tap into a power source over there. We're not going to be using this. I want front. I don't care about the back. When somebody rear-ends you in the back, it's guaranteed their fault, usually 99% of the time. So I don't think that blame could be set on you. So we'll set up we'll set up the basics. This guy here, and I'll show you guys what it looks like. Here's the camera itself, right there. You can make it stand out or pull in. However, however you have everything set up. So let's see how it looks. So you'll get this, there's a bit of a big reflection, but it's formatting the card. Formatting the card, and then basically I'm already seeing recording happening right now, actually, as we speak. It tells you where you're pointing, east, northeast, south, and then your kilometers. Kilometers or miles per hour over here. Pretty smart. 
Oh, that's off, that's on. So yeah, you can turn it off or on when you're driving. Wonder what, else, what other kind of settings you can do on here. Doesn't really give you a whole lot of uh, whole lot of options for settings, but we'll hang this up and I'll show you guys what it looks like in the vehicle. Well, here we are. It's set up. You can actually move this up and down if you want lower footage, higher footage, however you want. Kind of in the middle-ish. Got a little rock chip there so we're gonna set it straight have it stare straight at the road which is right there touch screen menu you can let it speak to you you could do photos I guess yeah you can capture photos record or don't record not sure what that does Turn on screen, turn off screen, show front camera. Take a photo. Photo captured successfully. Sound, you can have sound or no sound. Pretty much super easy setup. Comes with rubber things like this. And in the back of it, it just goes right on. I don't know how much of a how much of what I can show you guys you guys see the rubber strips yeah it goes right on your rear view mirror and that's it why did it turn off I didn't turn it off what happened to it that's weird it just shut down on its own Okay, I figured out some things. You can set the date, time, you can do turn on your dash cam, it'll start recording right there. Then you can just stop this recording. You can go to home, you can go to File Explorer, you can watch your video, watch your videos that you've recorded. There you go. You go back. Nope. Oh. Then you can delete this. Turn on your dash cam. Whoops. Delete it. Go back. System settings. You can set up your miles per hour or kilometers. Um, camera settings. You can set it to do a 1080 or 2.5K. 1080 is just fine. You can do parking assist with this if you want. I don't have none of that. I don't need none of that. Calibrate all that stuff. So there you go. That's your little dash cam. So you can see recording. You can hook up the other piece. Like I was telling you guys, the second one. And that one will be going all the way back into the rear. Which this is not long enough for me to even hook that up, I don't think. But there it is and you can hook it up in the back and then you could do the rear view as well on this so we'll do a little more in-depth testing later on but so far so far this is what it is and i'll leave you guys the link in the description that way you guys can get it <coughs> get it checked out if you guys want to get one more than welcome to and it doesn't turn off it has to have the vehicle running for this thing to be able to work so that's why it was shutting off on me because I think the vehicle wasn't running. It, somehow it detects a lower voltage flow or something. And then it was shutting off. But it ain't shutting off anymore. Let's see. can power that off. Power it back on. See that? Starts a whole new, new fresh thing. So the vehicle has to be running. It's a smart device. If you guys have any questions, write them in the comments section. Besides that, God bless you guys. Take care get one of these I think it could be useful if you guys want to have a, a recording of a dash a dash recording because these days you know you could be in the right hundred percent but then somebody says something wrong 
and you got to prove yourself and if you don't have any kind of proof then you know anything anything and everything could be made up against you and you want to have the peace of mind that you know you got a recording actually of what happened okay guys the Amazon link for the dash cam is going to be in the description so if you guys like what you see or if you have questions about it you want to ponder about it you want to throw it in your cart and think about it or you just want to straight up go and purchase one straight from Amazon in the description down below that's where the link is there you can look up the specs everything else about it God bless you guys take care see each other next time